So I've got a little bit of extra dough. I made a, another portion and I'm going to do a sweet version of these buns because it's so easy to do. A sweet version with cloudberry jam, or you could do any kind of jam you like, and a chocolate hazelnut spread. So I've got another portion of the dough. So half of them I'm going to do with cloudberry jam and one half I'm going to do with chocolate hazelnut spread. Cloudberries are something you find in Sweden and they're, they look a bit like squashed yellow raspberries and they're very fragrant, they're quite sweet and they don't have, I don't think they have the same tartness as uh, raspberries. So the jam's so sticky you can get away with not having to egg wash in between. So again you do your flip. Oh, this is where I need my trusty uh, right angle. Never liked maths at school, but now it's coming in handy. Then we're going to cut this into six, so cut it in half. And then into three. So the jam will have a tendency of trying to ooze its way out, but don't worry. So it doesn't matter. So again, you make those little legs, twist the legs. So when I was writing this cookbook, I obviously had to test a lot of bun recipes. And luckily I found a lot of willing uh, guinea pigs, my aunt-in-law being one of them. And she said when I gave her a batch of buns that you really can't go wrong with some freshly baked um, Swedish buns as a gift. Now this dough has um, spelt flour in it and I actually really like using spelt flour because it adds a bit more depth and flavour. You get a lovely kind of nuttiness, you know, it's not as, I wouldn't say plain flour, it's bland, it just, it just has more character. Also it makes you feel a bit more, oh these buns are more wholesome. <laughs> okay, chocolate spread. Here's a nut spread. So again, you fold it, the bottom flap over, then you fold the top flap over. Don't worry if there are a few holes in there, they will get sealed up. Dust off any excess flour. And then we're going to cut it into six again. Do your whole trouser thingy. Twist it. And then pop it on the tray. They just need a little egg wash before they... You can't go wrong with a batch of freshly baked buns. It's an easy crowd pleaser. Apart from those ones, they're really ugly. <laughs> there are always some ugly buns in the batch, but they're just as delicious, you know. We'll give these a little egg wash, and then they're gonna prove. Okay. So the buns with the cloudberry jam and the chocolate hazelnut spread, they're done. And they are smelling very delicious too. So that's it. Basic spelt dough, which you can fill in many different ways. Enjoy. Enjoy.